I've built a mobile app to showcase my 72-year-old mom's artwork. The app has a searchable database with all my mom's poems and paintings. All poems were recorded by my mom and can be listened to right from the app. Un remolino y el aire no son el uno sin el otro. Simultáneamente se evidencian cuando estoy en los dos y en mi centro. And to make it more interactive, I added a feature that allows anyone to contribute their own recordings. Un remolino y el aire no son el uno sin el otro. Simultáneamente se evidencian cuando estoy en los dos y en mi centro. That is so coolio. The app works on both Android and Apple phones. You can check it out at juliatomeque.com. The best part, it took me only a couple of days to build and I didn't have to write a single line of code. Although I have programmed websites for years, I have zero experience programming native apps and I was not ready to start now. My only prospect would be to hire a developer which would cost thousands of dollars. I love the idea, but my budget for this app was zero dollar, so hiring help was out of the question. Luckily, I had heard of a new way of building mobile apps that was much faster, cost a fraction of the cost, and the best part, required no coding whatsoever. There are several no-code mobile app building tools. The one I end up choosing is called Glide. In my opinion, Glide is the simplest to use, but they have a very active community, which is incredibly responsive. My questions get answered literally in seconds, sometimes by Glide's own very CEO. The way Glide works is by adding a beautiful mobile interface to a Google spreadsheet. The spreadsheet acts as a simple database where you store all your app's data. Then you connect your spreadsheet to Glide and in a couple of seconds, Glide magically transforms your spreadsheet into a beautiful mobile app. The next step is to customize the app so it looks and behaves the way you want to, which is extremely easy to do and it requires no coding whatsoever. My mom's app required two main sheets, one to store her poems and another one to store her paintings. That was enough to create a simple repository for all her artwork. The tricky part was to add the feature to have my mom or any app user upload their own poem voice recordings. For that, I had to create another sheet to store voice recordings and add a button and a form to collect those recordings. I also needed to add a simple way for my mom to manage all the recordings and approve or deny them before making them public. Anyway, it took me only four days to add all that functionality and I'm very happy with the end result. We shared the app with a few family members and they contributed several recordings. The most fun recordings come from my wife and nieces. All the poems are in Spanish, so hearing them reading with their Canadian accents was quite amusing and my mom loved it. If you speak Spanish, you'll see why. La fuerza de la costumbre Resultaba imbatible. Me encanta muchos tacos con cervezas, gracias. There are a few other features I won't get into, but I was able to add a button to automatically translate all the poems into English using Google Translate. Most of the translations are hilarious. Uh, it seems AI has trouble grasping the meaning of a poem. We're also planning to add a buy button so my mom can sell a book with all her poems and paintings. That's not available yet, but if you want to make a small contribution, you can click on the donate button and pledge whatever you think is reasonable. That will help my mom cover the cost of creating the book and sustain the creation of more poems and paintings. And of course, you're welcome to contribute your own poem recordings. To do so, just go to juliadomeke.com, select any poem and use the voice recording app on your phone to record the poem. Then, just click on the button under each poem to upload your recording. I will personally check all recordings and will approve them within 24 hours, providing they sound good and they're not really mistakes, of course. The top recordings will be enhanced by adding a bit of reverb and background music, which makes a huge difference in quality. Here is a recording as it was uploaded. Me prestaron las mariposas sus alas y solo así pude acariciarte. And here is the same recording after I added a bit of audio magic. Me prestaron las mariposas sus alas y solo así pude acariciarte. There is so much more you can do with Glide and every week they release new features. This video is not sponsored by them. I simply think it's an amazing tool that opens the doors to a whole new world of creators and artists that want to build apps but have no coding skills. If you want to learn how to build your own app using Glide, I created this tutorial. 
It's only 20 minutes long and covers all the basics to get started building mobile apps without coding. Thanks for watching and happy app building. Bye bye.